Hello everyone and welcome once again to your very own channel Easy and Effortless Economics. So in today's lecture we are going to talk about Occam's Law. This video is basically demanded by one of the students. So today we are going to cover this topic. So I can assure you that with the completion of this video I guess in next 10 minutes you will have a better understanding of what actually Occam's Law is. So as you can see, this law is given by Arthur Melvin Oaken. He was an American economist and he was also a member, a council member of the of the Economic Council. So this theory was given by him and it was named after him only. So what actually this law is, let's have a look at it. First, two things that you need to know about this that it is based on two macroeconomic variables, and these variables are unemployment and production. By production, it means GDP. What is GDP? GDP is a measure of total value of goods and services produced by the citizens and the non-citizens in a year. So it says that for every 1% fall in unemployment in an economy, the gross domestic product will rise by 2% and gross national product will rise by 3%. It means that unemployment is inversely proportional to the GDP and GNP. So it works on two things like two variables you know that uh, unemployment and production and the second part it says that it shares an inverse relationship between the two variables. You know what is an inverse relationship? Inverse relationship is when one variable is increasing the other is decreasing. So how does it can be seen through this law? It can be seen like when the production increases. When production increases more and more people will be required to work so automatically unemployment will decrease. So this is how this relationship can be seen. Next, this is also known as an as an empirical observed relationship between two variables. That is why it is also known as the rule of thumb. It is often recognized by some of the economists as rule of thumb because it is based on empirical observed relationship. In order to calculate Oaken's law, you need to know the formula. The formula consists of five main components. The five main components that are required is y minus y bar, u minus u bar and beta. These are the things that is required to calculate the Oaken's coefficient and one more thing is required that is output gap. That we are going to see in the next slide. So the formula is y minus y bar upon y bar is equal to minus or negative beta u minus u bar. Now let me tell you what does each, each sign signifies. Y is actual GDP, Y bar potential GDP, beta open coefficient, U is unemployment rate of the current year, U bar unemployment rate of the pre previous year and Y minus Y bar is the output gap. This we can obtain by deducting actual GDP from the potential GDP. So for your help I have taken up this example but I want you all to do this question and the answers I want in the comment box so that I can check and I can tell you. Because I am telling you the formula, you just have to put in the values. I will calculate the output gap for you. Then you just have to put in the values and get me the answer. So let's have a look at the example. Let us take a hypothetical example where we have the following components given below. And we have to calculate Oaken's coefficient using the scale. So here in the question, you are provided with the following information. You have the actual GDP that is 8. You have potential GDP 5.3. Unemployment rate of the current year is 8.5 and the unemployment rate of the previous year is 10. So this is all information that is available. So now for calculating the output gap as I have told you it is calculated by just deducting actual gap from the potential gap. So we have the actual gap 8 and we have the potential gap 5.3. So just by deducting that we get our output gap that is 2.7. So now for calculating the Oaken's coefficient y minus y bar upon y bar is equal to negative beta u minus u bar. You just have to put in the values and get me the answer. I don't think it's difficult. You all can do it. It's really simple. So with this we came to an end of this topic. This is all that you need to know about Oaken's law. I hope this part is clear to everyone. But few of the things that you need to remember that it is based on two variables. Two variables are unemployment and the Productivity that is GDP and the relationship they share is an inverse relationship that one increases other decreases. So this is the main part of the Oaken's law that you need to know the meaning and the way to calculate. I hope the calculation is clear. You have the formula. So please I want you all to try this question and just let me know if you are getting the answer in case. If you are not coming up with the answers no problem with that. In the next video I will take up the problem 
questions i'll take the examples and i'll do it for you but i know you all can do it so that's all for the day from my side i hope the concept is clear to you all so keep smiling keep studying stay tuned to your channel thank you everyone god bless you all